For nearly a hundred years now, One Bank continues to stand out as a leading provider of quality services, consistently delivered to institutions, entrepreneurs, and individuals in the Philippines and abroad to meet their financial needs and exceed rising expectations. Drawing strength from its rich history, it continues to strive to be the best and most admired financial services company, partnering with its customers, employees, and shareholders to become the primary catalyst for wealth creation. An industry leader. More than just a banker, your right partner. China Bank continuously grew and was soon listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange in 1947. It soon opened a branch in Cebu City in 1948 to cater to the flourishing business climate down south. As the years progressed, China Bank steadily developed and expanded and became the most sought-after bank of successful conglomerates in the country and also of the most enterprising small businesses. The bank's achievements are credited to its founders, D.C. Chuan and Albino Sisi, and the philosophies and values on which they founded the company. The seamless merger of Western and Eastern banking philosophies guided by China Bank's core values, spearheaded by the wise leadership of its current board of directors and senior management. And rippled out to its clients by a dedicated and hard-working frontline workforce. China Bank is a primary catalyst in the creation of wealth for our customers, driven by a desire to help its customers succeed through a highly motivated team of competent and empowered professionals, guided by in-depth knowledge of their needs and supported by leading-edge technology. Its wide range of domestic and international banking services include deposits and related services, institutional, corporate, and commercial lending, consumer loans, housing and auto loans, wealth management and private banking, treasury and foreign exchange trading, trust and investment management, cash management, factoring, electronic banking which includes ATM, phone banking services, internet and mobile banking, remittances, through tie-ups with remittance companies and exchange houses in the Middle East, Asia, and major U.S. cities. China Bank By the early 1960s, there was a regressive new competition bank that were going after the same market and opening many more branches, yet China Bank could not compete with them in terms of brand expansion. Also, by 1966, Manila had a newly created money market, creating new financial instruments like the Treasury Bill and creating new investment possibilities. Soon, the money market offerings of the bank's competitors had drawn in a good deal of the investable capital 
of its traditional clients who were looking for a better rate of return. The money market was an area where China Bank arrived late. It began dealing in T-bills in a small way in 1972 and had a full-fledged treasury department only in 1975. Moreover, by 1975, China Bank has no longer be the biggest private commercial bank. By 1960 to 1980, it was 10th among the local private commercial bank in terms of asset a precipitous fall in only 10 years. The period of 1960-80 was not dr as dramatic as the previous 20 years, which had included a world war. Among other things, in its own way, it was just a challenging for the bank. In 1969, China Bank becomes the first bank in the Southeast Asia to process deposit online using IBM 360. In 1970, it was still the biggest private commercial bank in the Philippines. It had 566 million in resources, an 11% growth over 1969, and 353 million in deposits. And it made a profit of 14.38 million on gross income of 57.45 million for a return of an equity of 16. 0.86%. China Bank had 4.1 of the assets in the commercial banking system in comparison a, revive, a rival bank which was more older had in 1970 total resources of 511 million and in 1975 the bank increases its Filipino ownership up to the 70% level required by central bank regulations. This paves the way for the bank's major branch expansion program. The 1978, on May 2, 1978, Albino Saixip, 91, passes away due to pneumonia. His successor as German George D. C. Kayat passes away the following year in 1980 on March 24, December 24, 1980. China Bank is the first privately owned local commercial bank in the Philippines and up to now, it continues to stand out as a leading provider of quality services consistently delivered by institutions, entrepreneurs, and individuals here in the Philippines and abroad. As the years progressed, China Bank steadily developed and expanded and it became the most sought after bank of successful conglomerates in the country and also the most enterprising small businesses. In the year 1990, China Bank joined seven other banks to create BankNet, the country's largest ATM network. And so, to strengthen its position among the major players in the banking industry, China Bank transferred its head office to Paseo de Rojas in Makati City. In the following year, China Bank acquired the Universal Bank license. And in the year 1994, China Bank launches two consumer loan products which are China Bank Home Plus and China Bank Auto Plus. In 1995, China Bank celebrates its diamond anniversary and raises its authorized capital to 2.54 billion pesos. In the year 1996, China Bank accesses offshore capital markets for the first time by issuing 50 million US dollars floating rate certificate of deposit. Also, the bank also launches China Chuck Plus, an interest-earning current account. In the year 1999, China Bank automates its treasury operations with the FlexCube system. Also, China Bank Insurance Brokers Incorporated started its operations. And in the year 2000, to celebrate the bank's 80th anniversary, China Bank donates 1 million pesos to the bank Mindanao to help the victims of armed conflict in Mindanao. Since early 2000, China has sought to internationalize the use of renminbi or RMB to promote trade, investment, and tourism globally. 
today with China becoming one of the biggest economies in the world. RMB has now become one of the world's most widely traded currencies. It is now the fifth most used payment currency and is the second most used trade finance currency. In the Philippines, growth and interest in the use of RMB has increased considerably. Back in the mid 2000s, we notice an influx of tourists from China coming to Manila. But since uh, there was no channel for exchanging RMB to pesos at that time, this served to limit the flexibility for Chinese tourists to spend their tourist money here. So we thought of uh, providing a way by which RMB could be converted directly into Philippine peso rather than having to go through the U.S. dollar. By approving the convertibility of uh, the RMB into Philippine peso, which was given by the Monetary Board in November 2006, the Monetary Board at that time decided to allow the uh, convertibility of RMB into pesos in the Philippines. In 2009, Bank of China was designated by the People's Bank of China to be the RMB Banknotes Clearing Bank in the Philippines with the endorsement of BSP, which allowed local banks to start their RMB Banknotes business. The business in the RMB would continue to grow. So we thought that there would be a need to provide the necessary infrastructure to further encourage the growth in this business. So we, the Monetary Board decided uh, on a no-objection uh, decision and as far as the uh, proposal of uh, Bank of China was concerned. And we were uh, glad to see that uh, Bank of China was taking the lead in this regard. When worth of Panda Bonds with Bank of China as the lead underwriter. There are a lot of benefits when RMB is used in settling cross-border deals. For one, trade parties will not have to bridge transactions using the U.S. dollar. Another is that trading in RMB will allow companies to hedge since revenues and costs will be in RMB, thus reducing the cost of trading. These are just some of the reasons why the Banco Central ng Pilipinas has supported the establishment of an RMB community in the country. In April this year, representatives from the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, local banks, and Bank of China had its first meeting to discuss the renminbi community and renminbi market in the Philippines, as envisioned in Stage 2 of the development plan. Last October, 14 of the country's biggest local banks, including Bank of China, have signed an MOA to officially create the Philippine RMB trading community. The creation of the domestic trading platform between the Chinese renminbi and the Philippine peso is fully supported by the BSP, the Department of Finance, and the financial and banking industry. It is envisioned that through the RMB community, a shared advocacy of promoting a fair, transparent, and resilient domestic RMB market in the Philippines will translate to a transparent and competitive foreign exchange rate with RMB as well as increased savings. The year 2010, China Bank celebrates 90 years of banking and gets included in the 30 stock PSC index starting May 12. The bank also wins the Silver Award on Corporate Governance from the Institute of Corporate Directors or ICD and is again recognized by the Bureau of Treasury as one of the top 10 best performing government securities eligible or GSED in the primary for the year 2011, China Bank is awarded Best Wealth Management House in the Philippines by the Asset Magazine and receives the second time the Gold Award in Corporate Governance from the Institute of Corporate Directors or ICD. The same year, Hans T.C. becomes the chairman of China Bank. He is a Filipino and a chairman of the board since May 5, 2011. He became a member of the China Bank board on May 21, 1986, 
and was elected vice chairman of the executive committee of SM Prime Holdings Incorporation and advisor to the board of SM Investment Corporation. SMPH and SMIC are both listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange. He is also the chairman of the board of trustees and National University. He holds other key positions in several companies within the SM Group. He graduated from the La Salle University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. He attends and participates in various trainings and seminars. The latest of which is an or is on anti-money laundering and corporate governance conducted by the Institute of Corporate Directors last August 2019. Year 2012, China Bank acquires a new core banking system, the more powerful Infosys Financial Solution. The bank also acquires Pampanga-based Rural Bank Unit, Unity Bank to be merged with its three bank subsidiary, China Bank Savings or CBS, in 2013. Year 2013, China Bank team ups with Global Services Giant Mastercard World Platinum and Classic in 2015. The bank also strengthens its operation with a new wealth management system developed by Sopro Banking Software. It's a leading software and IT services company based in France. A leading age ATM or payments switch and authentic from Alaric, a UK based provides of payments and enterprise fraud deten detection systems and the China Bank app that makes it convenient and secure to do banking transactions using the Apple, iPad, or iTouch. In this year also, China Bank wins a Bell Award for Corporate Governance for the second consecutive year. In 2014, China Bank acquires the country's leading bank for small and medium enterprises, Lanters Development Bank, to be merged with China Bank Savings or the survive, surviving bank. China Bank also successfully raises $8 million from the stock offering, issuing $161,609,878 shares at 49.50 pesos per share, and increases its ownership stake from 5% to 40% in Manulife China Bank Life Assurance Corporation or MC. Be life. It's Bank Assurance joint venture with Manulife Philippines. On September 1, 2014, Ricardo Archoa succeeds Peter East D as a new president and chief executive officer. The China Bank wins a Bill Award for corporate governance for the third year in a row. The only bank among the award and one of the only two companies to have won three times and wins Corporate Governance Issues Outstanding Company on Corporate Governance Award. Year 2015, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP approves China Bank's plan to establish an investment house subsidiary. China Bank Capital Corporation or China Bank Capital. Uh, China Bank inaugurates China Bank Corporate Center. A Pisa accredited 18 story BPO tower in Cebu Business Park and rolls out Pinnacle Core Banking Solution or FCBS from Infosys to support the bank's expanding operations and drive customers' loyalty, growth, and innovation. In the year 2016, China Bank wins to build a award for corporate governance for an unprecedented fifth year in a row. It is also named Banking and Finance Firm of the Year by UK-based magazine Performance Monthly. Fitch Ratings upgrades the bank's long-term issuer default rating to BB+. Plus and its viability to its PB Plus 
with a stable outlook and later affirms these ratings aiming to support a various several streams China Bank infos, infuses an additional 2 billion pesos capital to its thrift banking arm China Bank Savings. Its investments banking house China Bank Capital buys a stock brokerage, brokerage house and puts up a special company for securitization deals. China Bank also began issuing up to 20 billion pesos LTN CDS to support its strategic in initiatives and business expansion. China Bank is one of the first banks to convert all ATM cards to the new EMV standard and to new ATM user experience where the machines uh, mimic a smartphone's interface. It also upgraded its personal banking portal to allow customers to construct in a faster and easier way. Binondo, 1920 Here, 100 years ago, men of courage and vision founded China Bank to help a community of struggling but worthy merchants and traders achieve their dreams. They were driven by an impeccable code of trust and respect through the hard times and the good times. That's how China Bank successfully partnered with four, five generations of loyal clients. Today, China Bank keeps pace with evolving technology while remaining grounded on integrity and prudence. China Bank, celebrating the past, embracing the future. Times change, but values remain.